yes uh, shalom the uganda yss fraternity uh, here i am uh, in arua we've been here for the arua yss uh, rally day and the event has gone colorfully we started with the march uh, i mean with the marching with a band from uh, arua city and we marched to the cathedral where we had the uh, bishop presiding over uh, uh, celebrations of, all, um, of mass and there we uh, uh, there were members of YCS enrolled and then uh, we had also confirmations and the new leadership swearing in so with me here I have uh, a former uh, diocesan team leader is going to tell us your, his names uh, and his school so uh, team leader we are grateful that you have handed over successfully so would like to hear from you. Can you tell us your names and the school you've been studying in? Yes, thank you. Salam to ICS. My name, I am Paul Moon from Jilba, Japan, from Varasia Shakula. I am the former leader. Thank you, Arua. Oh, this is great. We thank you for the great leadership you've been doing, uh, you've been having. Now that you've transited, you've given uh, leadership to the new team. Uh, so kindly briefly share with us uh, your experience in the life of the movement. How has YCS been able to uh, to inspire you, to change you? Kindly share with us. Thank you, I appreciate that question. YCS has helped me a lot, both personally and other things. Even how I relate to people in the community is all because of YCS. Very good. To start with, let me be open and frank. YCS has interested the spirit of the responsibility we need. As for now, if it was not leadership of YCS, I couldn't have not known about it. Not because of that, I have assumed the responsibility. Then I know what the responsibility is. Spiritual wise, YCS have helped me a lot. I used not to be someone who follows prayer, but I came to realize YCS became so very late. When I gave my time to read it, so now it's been a week. You need to be spiritual. So my spiritual length has been now improved because of this. My conduct with people has changed greatly and generally. Because former days, I did not conduct with people very well. I was someone that school was not all that good when it comes to conduct with the community. But because of what it is, because of structure, what it is, because of what it is, how I have changed completely. A way has also allowed me Especially the leadership has made me, has actually permitted me to appreciate the meeting where possible. I am appreciating things, so I know what is here, which is part of me. So, because of that, I am open to appreciate my weaknesses and my strength. There is a lot of ways it has done for me. There is a lot. Very good. Uh, I, we, we are glad that you are hearing and uh, as Professor Vicent Bagire is always telling the YCSS that YCS is a school of uh, formation and we have clearly heard from the former diocesan team leader of Arua. Uh, YCS has formed him, YCS has made him uh, a great leader and as we can see he speaks uh, with, uh, with the confidence and uh, I am very sure that this is a candidate uh, out there. Tomorrow when he's in the community there, he will be able to stand for the community, will be able to stand for his country. So uh, the YCS is a school of formation, and we have seen as he has testified. So he's changed, his life has changed spiritually and materially, and he's able to take up a better position in the, in the, in the community, and those are uh, the obje objectives of the movement, to form leaders who will take a meaningful place in community. So we are very grateful that... Uh, uh, your stewardship, your leadership has been uh, a great one and you've uh, uh, handed over today successfully. So I uh, would like you to give us your final message, your advice to the new team and uh, all the YCSRs outside there in Uganda and uh, the whole world. What do you have, which message do you have to them? Give them a word of encouragement. Thank you to my new leadership, which has just received all this. I want to encourage them, I want to assure them that for them to be true, for them to journey through and be successful in their leadership, there's one thing they need to ensure that is prayers. When you put prayers, you are role model, everything, especially when you kneel before, or in front of Mother Mary, telling Mama, I need this, I am going to decide on this beautiful issue. Help me. When you tell Mama, Mother Mary, I have this challenge in my leadership. Trust me, Mother Mary will help you. 
she has been guiding me all along. So my message to them is, Mother Mary Francis, before they decide. Team spirit, consultation. We have offices, we have those offices, we have those other offices which are there. But if they don't go to consult them, if they will not consult and seek advice from them, they will not die. Right? Team spirit is there. Why is it? It's just about team spirit. Then, yes, can go ahead. Yes, to end with, I know leadership has challenges and other things as well. So for them, my last message for the leaders is that challenge, they should take challenge part of them in leadership. Challenge forms you, strengthens 